Hey Scorpio, it's Meg and I am Padme's, I am doing your May Tarot Scope for 2021. Sorry about that airplane out there. And we are calling in our angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light because I don't want to talk to anybody else. I'm also calling in Archangel Gabriel. And this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Let's see what's going on with you this month, Scorpio. We are going to do some clarifying after we move through all of these cards and then we're going to ask a yes or no question at the end from the angel oracle so scorpio let's see what is going on with you this month the first thing that i'm noticing is your big picture and your big picture is the knight of swords this is coming in with the truth this is storming the castle with the truth this is coming in fast and furious. And this is a lot of information or a lot of thought process or really a lot of action, a lot of communication with someone um, talking about the truth of things, talking about the truth of the matter. Sometimes it's uh, actually really blunt and straightforward and direct communication. So it's not all warm and fuzzy but whatever it is, it's the truth. And coming from a place of not feeling so hot, coming from a place of having some regrets and some sadness or thinking about the past a lot, thinking about past regrets, past sadness, past mistakes, past missed opportunities. And, you know, the next thing that I'm seeing is this Queen of Wands reversed in your advice. And I feel like this is a bit of a warning, Scorpio. This Queen of Wands reversed is, she is not a happy queen, but this is also about kind of vengeance or somebody who doesn't have your best interests in mind and they're using their will or they're using their energy to do, just to influence. Let's just say that to influence. We'll get some clarification on that too, Scorpio. And this is your higher self and your higher self is talking to you about focusing. Looks like there are lots of different options here. And your higher self is talking about you focusing in on, you know, one or two of them instead of spreading yourself so thin. But I feel like your higher self is saying that's what you're doing. You're, you're pulling back your energy so that you're not spreading yourself too thin. There have been lots of options in the past. You're kind of like making those options. You're bringing those, you're honing those in. And then here your angels and guides are talking about self-validation and doing things on your own. And this could also be talking about a third party situation, but it's also talking about self-validation, very possibly no longer needing many options to get what it is that you need in the way of validation. This is about self, knowing who you are, knowing your worth, knowing your gifts and talents and strengths. Nobody has to tell you because you already know. The heart of the situation is about opening your heart chakra after releasing all of these burdens Releasing, I'm hearing fears, releasing all these fears, releasing fears and opening your heart space. We'll clarify that. This is release the idea that you always have to constantly be thinking, what's next, what's next, what's next? This is also releasing the end of something, the end of perhaps what you thought was emotional fulfillment or what was supposed to be emotional fulfillment, but this is about releasing that. 
and there's some kind of resistance to past betrayal, lying, cheating, stealing. There's resistance to this past betrayal. I also want to say there's resistance to feeling like sometimes this card is about CYA. It's about covering your booty. It's about kind of trying to manipulate or to do things that seem manipulative or hurtful to other people because you're basically trying to protect yourself. And it's like having resistance to doing that. Okay. So happening now and into the near future, here's the tower, but it's reversed. For me, that is some kind of inevitable change that you have time to plan for. So this is kind of like, I don't want to say impending doom because change is not always doom, right? It can be a big move that's going to be really awesome, but moving is a big deal, right? So it doesn't have to be awful, but this is something that you can plan for, but it's a big change. And that is happening now and into the near future. So what I feel like that is, is this thing that's been, you know, you've known that this change is coming for a long time. <clears throat> um, it's coming forward, I feel like in May. So finally the change arrives, right? And here in the past is the King of Cups reversed. This is someone who is very disappointed, perhaps heartbroken, love broken. And this can also be somebody who is emotionally manipulative and not getting their way. So whether this is you or whether this is someone you've been dealing with, Scorpio, this is somebody who's disappointed and emotionally manipulative and upset and they're in the past. This is about uh, also the action of that. It's not like they're just feeling this way. They've let you know that they're feeling this way. They've been action oriented about telling you how they're feeling or they've been action oriented about being emotionally manipulative or whatever it is. We'll clarify that too. But here happening now, we have the Ace of Swords and we have the Six of Cups. The Ace of Swords along with this Knight of Swords coming forward, speaking the truth, being very, you know what? The, the Knight of Swords isn't this, but what I'm hearing is some kind of eloquent conversation there's some kind of eloquent communication that's happening. This is also the truth. I mean, the Knight of Swords is like, I'm going to tell it to you and it's going to be direct and it's not sugar-coated. But I'm hearing this Ace of Swords say that there's some kind of eloquent conversation that's going to be had about the past. This is nostalgia. This, is, this can be romantic. This can be uh, someone from the past that is a past life, twin flame, soulmate type of relationship. And this is your present time energy. So there, there's, a, there's also, this is my yes card. There's also this clear thought process going on about a past relationship. And in the trajectory, we have the hermit. This is healthy self-reflection, meditation, seeking light from within. So let's do some clarifying Scorpio and see what's going on here. I'm going to clarify with the Aquarian deck. And the first thing that I want to clarify is this Knight of Swords. Storm in the castle with the truth. I'm incorrect. What is this about? Yep, here's the Fool. The Fool's reversed. This is like, this is not my first rodeo. I know how to do this, or I've been, uh, I've been training to do this my whole life, that kind of thing, past lives, really. I've done this before. This is a time, this is a month, May. It's a time to storm the castle with the truth, and you have been training for this. It's like you know what to do. I'm going to get another one on that. And here we have the King of Wands reversed. Scorpio, this could be somebody who is storming the castle with the truth. They know how to do it because they've done it a lot and they're doing it for their own purposes, their own goals, their own reverence, their own 
best interest, basically. Um, this could also be somebody storming the truth, wanting to come correct and say, this is the way I was in the past. And I see that I was this way. That would be some, some big truth. Okay, let's look at your heart of the situation. Releasing these burdens to open the heart, releasing fears. And as you release the fear, the heart chakra opens to receive. And here we have the four of wands reversed. This is uprooting and dislodging all of the foundation that this is the 1111 card. This is a soulmate card. This is a twin flame card. This is celebration. And this is moving forward into engagement. This is a wedding card, marriage card. So this is a release of that, a release of fears around the release of this type of stability. Releasing fears around that undoing. Here's the seven of wands. And this is about having conviction about the end of some kind of foundation. This, this feels like a, a false relationship of some kind. So this is having conviction about this false relationship, having conviction about this, this overturning of foundation. Okay, I wanna clarify this, this five of cups down here, Scorpio. What's going on with the five of cups down here? Right, here's the ace of wands. This is a passionate new beginning there was some kind of, uh -huh, I want to say disgruntled energy, some kind of disgruntled energy. It's like there was this um, passionate, fiery energy of regret. Like there was this stroke of lightning that induced regret. And this is this thing that happened really quickly that induced all this sadness and grief underlying all of this kind of a realization. This could even be a false realization. Having conviction for that false realization. This is also protecting yourself, knowing yourself, releasing your fears, opening your heart space and knowing yourself. Okay, Scorpio, I want to know about this Queen of Wands. And this can be a person, but this can also be the energy of this. The energy of, again, you've got the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Both reversed. These are both powerful people that have lots of energy wielding, but they're looking out for themselves. They're not concerned with others' feelings more than they are concerned with their own. So somebody, Scorpio, right? And when I clarify that, I get the Nine of Cups. So somebody feels that their wishes are more important than your wishes. This is also in your advice. So on one hand, it's like, be aware of somebody else in your vicinity who is more interested or more interested in their own wishes being met than your safety or your greatest good. But then also this can be about you needing to have conviction about your own, your own wishes. I'm saying that because this is having conviction, but also this resistance, resistance to taking care of yourself sometimes when it looks like it's selfish. Nobody wants to be that person that looks like a selfish asshole, but sometimes you have to take care of yourself. You have to do what's best for you. 
And this is like having resistance to being that person. And at the same time, your advice is like, sometimes you have to look like this queen of wands reversed, this vindictive crazy person. Because your wishes are important. Your needs are important. Your safety is important. Your emotional safety. Let's look at the tower reversed. What is going on? Let's clarify that tower reverse, please, happening now and into the near future. The inevitable change that is happening in May. Oh, and here we have the Knight of Swords again, reversed. So the Knight of Swords reversed is talking about storming the castle with what you think is the truth, but not having enough information or not having the right information. So you think you're telling the truth, but you might not be because you don't have all the information. So this tower could be this big change or this, you know, blow you out of the water type of thing that's been going on for a while. This could be the thought process, like kind of like a wrong thought process that's been happening for some time. And if you come and storm the castle with the truth with this, with these wrong thoughts, because you haven't had the right information, um, yeah, that change, that tower can explode. So I want to get another clarifier for that, Scorpio. That seems kind of doozy-esque. And here we have the page of swords reversed. Yeah, this has a lot to do with your line of thinking, like wrong thinking in not that you're wrong, but just that you have the wrong information or you've been told the wrong information or you've heard the wrong information or you've snowballed the wrong information. This is also about gossip. This is also about um, gathering information that from hearsay kind of. Okay, so let's look at this in your release situation here, releasing always needing to know what's next. This is also about releasing the end of emotional fulfillment in a situation of some kind. And here we have the nine of swords. This is also like releasing the anxiety around the end of this emotional fulfillment. There's something, some kind of emotional thing that felt wonderful at one point. And when it ended, there's a lot of grief and anxiety around it. And this is about releasing that. Let's get some clarity on that. Seven of Swords reversed. What is going on with that Seven of Swords reversed? And that is your resistance to this resistance to this lying, stealing, uh, stealing, cheating kind of energy or taking care of yourself when it looks selfish. And here is the Empress. This is about Empressing up, Scorpio. This is about knowing your worth. It's kind of like that un, untamed book where she says, whenever you have the chance to disappoint yourself or someone else, disappoint someone else every time because your job is to never disappoint yourself. You're the one who has to live with you, Scorpio. So let's take a look at what your higher self is talking about, honing down your options, kind of simplifying and focusing on what's emotionally gratifying to you, what fills your heart. Here is the nine of wands reversed. This is also about surrendering to the universe. Like universe, work through me. Universe, channel through me. Show me what it is that I need to do for my highest and my greatest good. Light my path for me, you know? But that's your higher self talking. Your angels and guides are talking about this self-validation, going within, working on yourself, seeing yourself for who you are. And here we have the seven of cups. That's interesting. This is totally about outside validation and internal validation. 
here's the seven of cups reversed. Your higher self is like, surrender to the universe. Let the universe show you your lit path and show you what you're supposed to be focusing on. Your angels and guides are like, do some self-validation. See all of your gifts and see all of your opportunities here within yourself, not seeking it from the outside. I love that. Okay. Let's look at this king of cups reversed in the past, Scorpio. Who is this? What is this energy for you? And here... We have two cards that flipped out. We've got the three of pentacles reversed again with the self-validation, but here's the sun card reversed. It's like, there's a lot of, there are a lot of gifts here that you're not able to receive. This is in the past. So this whole heart opening heart of the situation, I feel like has kind of resolved some of this, but this past, King of Cups reversed, this disappointment, I feel like is being resolved with this release of fear. Being true to you, Scorpio. Let's look at this present time energy coming forth with the truth, victory. Yes, and this is looking at past relationships. This is also past relationships coming back into the future. This can literally be like a person you've been with in the past in this life, but this can also be soulmate relationships and past life relationships coming forward. Well, let's look at that energy, Scorpio. And here's the seven of pentacles reversed. This is like switching channels. When it's right side up, it's like, I am tending to this. I'm tending to this garden. I am trying to make this work. I am seeing what my results are. I'm doing everything I can. I'm watering, I'm fertilizing, I'm doing all this stuff. And I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna see if I get what uh, I want to happen here. Am I getting the fruit that I want? Am I, is it blossoming the way I want it to? So when it's reversed, it's like, okay, I have to reevaluate what I'm doing here because it's not working exactly the way I want it. Whatever it is that I'm doing, whatever energy and resources I'm giving to this are not fully doing what it needs to do to be successful. So I'm switching channels. Literally, I'm channeling different energy into this or I'm, I'm choosing a different path. So this victory about this past situation, this past life connection or this past relationship has to do with switching channels. The victory has to do with putting your energy, channeling your energy differently. The victory itself could be just this different energy within you, Scorpio. And here is the queen of pentacles reversed. This is the married queen. And this has to do with this married queen not feeling solid, stable, and secure. This married queen can also be kind of like a helicopter mom. She can be a hoverer or she can be um, really insecure about how to create stability. So that's kind of an interesting thing here. So this is victory in this old connection, this past connection, this soulmate connection. And it has to do with channeling different energy around someone who is a feminine energy that is not feeling solid, safe, and secure. And that's a present time energy around this. All right, Scorpio. So here's the hermit in your outcome, in your trajectory. This healthy self-reflection, this seeking light, and information from within. So there's a theme here, the self-validation, not seeking validation from the outside, knowing your worth. And here's the magician. I love it. This card. Ta-da! This is like, I am, I am here balancing. I'm balancing what I know. Um, okay, Scorpio. There's something here too about 
getting your worth through possibly your vocation getting your worth through vocation that's still outside validation so that's not really what we're talking about here so this future trajectory going within to seek knowledge to seek your own knowledge this is a connection with spirit this is a connection with higher self so keep that in mind because i think there's going to be some kind of wanting to claim your worth based on what you do or what you are good at externally and there's some kind of let me see yeah there's some kind of that doesn't bring you the strength that you want or the personal power that you want it looks like there's some um, solar plexus work healing that can be done here I actually, when I'm even looking at this solar plexus energy, I'm seeing other people in this space. And it also looks like just foreign energy astral debris in the solar plexus space. I'm actually feeling like this past energy here with the King of Cups, um, this sun reversed is that same thing. It's like, this is funny because usually here are these little cherubs and they're just absolutely wonderful. But in this case, with this being reversed and everything, it looks like you've got these little cherubs literally in your space. Like you just have foreign energy in your space and you need to clear it out. Use your grounding cord, pull it out, Scorpio, get it out of there. Because when we have other people's energy in our personal power space, we are not standing in our full power and we're allowing other people to siphon that power from us. And if we give our power away by saying that our validation is what we do and not what we are, that also creates this strength reversed. Okay. I wanna get a little bit more clarification on that. I actually want, yeah, I'll get clarification on that. And then I wanna ask about um, what is happening into the future that you don't see coming? Okay, so a little bit more on the trajectory. Yeah, there's a need to clear the solar plexus, the power space. You know, I'm also feeling like you have some cords, some cords, some psychic cords. So maybe some psychic cords to this type of energy, maybe some psychic cords to this type of energy that Queen of Wands reversed, that Queen of Pentacles reversed, like just decord, get the cords out. Ask Archangel Michael to help you do that. Yeah, this is, you know, and from the very beginning, this is, this is heart opening. You're going through all these shifts and these changes because you're wanting to clear heart space. You're wanting to get really clear with that heart with that identity space. And this is about your true identity and figuring out what that true identity wants in May. All right, I am asking about things coming forward into the future that you don't see. What do you not see that's coming towards you in May, Scorpio? All three cards and we have the two of swords we have the five of pentacles and we have the two of wands so wow what you don't see coming scorpio is this i feel like it's a reunion to tell you the truth um this This is a reunion. This can definitely be some kind of reunion, like a rebirth of something. Switching channels from this Queen of Pentacles energy. This is like, I've been stuck in stalemate. I've been incubating. I felt left out in the cold. I haven't been able to seek sanctuary. And then you get this two of wands. This is 
this is a decision, but these lilies here also, this is like, I'm deciding to move forward and how this guy is holding onto the world. He's deciding how he's going to change his world and how he's gonna move forward. This, these lilies for me are standing out right now. And this is about uh, longevity and a romance. This is a romantic, long, long romance kind of thing. So there's some kind of decision that is being made in May, Scorpio, around a partnership. Okay, so let's ask your yes or no question, Scorpio. Ask your yes or no question. And I am going to pull from the angel oracle and clarify that a little bit. So yes or no, hell no. There you have it. You just got a straight up no. And let's clarify that. I wanna clarify that with, what does the universe wanna tell you about this? <laughs> What does the universe want to tell you about this no? Straight up no. I want to interlude in the nude, but it's reversed. So it's like, no. <laughs> I'll get one more clarifier with the uh, Hanson Roberts. Here we go, here's the page of swords. So the clarification is talking about communication. It's talking about reaching out or receiving communication. It's talking about gathering information so that you can start formulating an opinion about something. It's the beginning of a thought process. It's the beginning, it's, it's also an invitation to converse, an invitation to see what's on the table. Okay. There you have it, Scorpio. Let me know how this resonates. And I look forward to seeing you in about a week. Take care.